Hi there, and welcome to this DS Systems tutorial video. In this video, we're going to cover a general overview of the system to get you familiar with the software, some of the main features it can offer, and then the resources we provide when implementing and operating the software. By now, I'm sure you've seen our DS Systems homepage. From here, you have the ability to start your free 14 day trial and use our contact us section to find our videos and find our support documentation for more information on the finer modules of the software. As an existing user, you have the option to email our support team, but if you're new, you may choose to book in a call to speak to one of our team members about how DEER can work for you. But let's get started on the trial. First, you'll be directed to the Create a DEER account. Then you'll be asked to create an organization and provide your phone number for phone verification. Once the account is created, you'll be sent by default to our setup page. You can use this as a guide or you can simply bypass this and set everything up at a later date by choosing DEER as your accounting software and then making a selection whether to erase or continue with the demo data. Once a selection is made, you'll be asked to finish setup and be directed straight to the back end of the main software. The first screen you'll be directed to is the overview dashboard and let me quickly take you to an account that I prepared earlier. On the top right hand corner, you'll see the My Subscription button where you can manage any of the erasing of data and you can also navigate the different menu styles from vertical to horizontal by clicking on the icon at the top right. You've got the notifications button if for any notifications coming through the system and a couple of other icons that may be beneficial going forward. You can manage the dashboard by clicking on the manage dashboard button and toggling on and off any of the views as well as interacting with the dashboard by actually dragging and dropping that information right from the screen. To get started with the imagery system, you'll need to start putting in your products and services. You can click on manually, new product and service and input the fields that are relevant to you and toggle down on the left to the different information fields that you would like to input. You can navigate over to the products page to see a list of all of your products. And you can also choose to import your inventory list from the import inventory list section. You can download the CSV template and you can also have a look at the field specification button to get an idea of what these fields in the import list mean to you. By navigating back to the product list page, you'll be able to see further import files that we offer, further product information, most notably the stock on hand file, which is what you use when you are first inputting your stock availability and cost into Deer Systems. Under the sale menu is where you'll find your customer list under search, customers and credits. Here you can see your customer list or add a brand new customer from the plus button or from the drop down menu at the top under new customer. Just like the product page and many other places in the system, you have the import and export options for the CSV templates for this time the customer data. To navigate and find your suppliers, you just simply go to purchase suppliers and you'll have the same options for your suppliers. If you want to find your sales, go to sale in the menu and click on sales. From this screen, you'll see a list of all of your sales, whether they've been put in manually or come from any of your integrations. You can click on the gear wheel on the top right to choose any of the column headers and the data that you want to display in this screen. And you can choose to grab and drag any of these column headers to display the information the way that you want. The checkbox next to the sale will allow you to select this and you can choose bulk actions such as fill and authorize to a certain stage. You can choose the filters as well to filter these sales to only display the sales that are important to you for a certain status. You can toggle between the headers at the top such as accounting and this will allow different filters and different data to be displayed for an accounting role or you can choose a fulfillment to choose a fulfillment role data. By navigating to the purchase menu and clicking on purchases you can see a list of all of your purchase orders. From any list view in the system, you have a dynamic search bar, which allows you to search for any item within that list. Within that search or any list, you can then click on the column header to sort that information in a way that's relevant to you. I'm now going to cover the information regarding how you can assemble products through our assembly or production module, or you can use our assembly module for kitting or bundling. You need to create your finished good product as its own SKU in the system and then select whether you want to apply an assembly or production bomb to that product. By navigating over to the bill of materials menu on the left, 
you can now choose to create the assembly recipe or the production order process relevant to creating that product. By going to the production menu, you can then choose to create a new assembly or look at your assembly tasks list, or go and create a brand new production order and production process. If you're not sure which is right for you, production or assembly, please watch the relevant videos on these modules or book in a call to speak to one of our staff. By navigating over to the inventory availability screen, here you can see crucial information to your stock regarding what is on hand, then compared to what is available, what is on order, what's in transit, and what's allocated. You can scroll down and see the products, or you can use a dynamic search to maybe filter out only products from a certain location, or any other information that's relevant to your products such as category, brands, tags, etc. Next we have the setting menu. General settings allows you to customize the system to operate in a way that works for your business, and reference books is the operational information that is used in the software. Users and roles allows you to invite users and customize their permission levels to only access the system in a way that you prefer. Next we'll talk about document and email templates. These documents are highly customizable and use Microsoft Mail Merge fields. You can choose the document that you want to edit, open up that tab, and download the template in Microsoft Word. You edit this template using our Microsoft Mail Merge method, and then browse to upload that document into the system. You similarly use Word documents to edit your email templates. Next, let's head over to the integration page. From here, you can make a selection of any number of the pre-built integrations we have with our software, and you can set this up using the documentation from our support pages or the videos. If you cannot see the integration on this page, you can give access to our Dear API to one of your developers, and you can have them build the custom integration to our software for you. Finally, let's head over to the reports module. From here, you can find any number of reports that will work for you, and you can watch the reporting video to understand how to customize and edit these reports in a way that works for you. You can also favorite these reports to go back and find those customized reports at a later date. Okay, so after that really quick overview of the system, how do I find out more about what's relevant to me? So head over to our website and click on the videos tab to see the videos that are relevant to the certain particular modules that you want to see. You can search the YouTube channel or click on the playlist button to see pre-built playlists we have on certain areas and modules in the system. You can similarly go back to the contact us page and click on get support. This will take you to our knowledge base where you'll find written articles taking you through each individual element of the software step by step. You can use the search bar to use keywords to find the articles or you can click on the solutions button and click through the different areas and elements of the, our article knowledge base to find the information that's relevant to you. We hope you've enjoyed this Dear Systems video. For further information, you can either book a call if you're a new customer or click on the support at dearsystems.com email address and reach out to our support team for more help. Thank you.